Hey, it's Yoshi, aka Jurassic Fanatic, and this is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Jurassic Park Ray Arnold and Raptor set. I don't actually know what this is supposed to be called, but I just called it that now. But this arrived at my house a while ago, but I haven't been here to receive it. I think it came, I want to say a month ago, and I'm just now getting to take a look at it. This is what is on the inside of this very cool outside box. So the outside box is very beautifully done artwork of the bunker that Ellie Sattler ends up going into to turn the power back on. Very nicely done artwork with blending and shading and whatnot, yeah. I'll just let you take a look at it. It's a really pretty outside box, almost better than the actual thing itself. You can see the fence and the greenery. And then on the back it says, what happens to Ray Arnold in his final scene after shutting down Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park, after shutting down Jurassic Park's power system, he lends a hand to help turn on the circuit breakers, but he isn't seen again, at least not entirely. Warning, this toy produces flashes and may trigger epilepsy in sensitive individuals. Big dummy yikes. Here's the other side of the box. More greenery and the fence looks delicious. And then, hold on, here's the bottom of the box. Why am I doing this so challenging? Okay, conforms to the safety requirements of ASTM F963. There is the product number. And then the top of the box also has a continuation of the artwork with the Jurassic Park logo. Okay, enough of the outside box. I just want to show you that. This is what the diorama looks like. Ray Arnold is on the inside and he's kind of held in there. You can see the bloodiness of his arm because it shows. And then this little stand, which is where all the lights and sound comes from. And then this crouching raptor, because Mattel knows how much we love this raptor sculpt. There is a magnet at the top of this, so when you close it, it simply shuts, which is very nice. And this is basically the same artwork, but without the fence in the front, because it's like you walked in. So now you're in front of this bunker area. And the sides are simply just the side of the bunker. So it's just all gray and then more plant life. And then the top is gray too. And then the bottom also has the product number and the same stuff that the top has. And it also has this thing, which is where you like pull the string out to get the batteries to connect. And then the thing works. This already was pulled out though. You didn't have to do it. And then now when you release the magnet, it's going to talk. So, yeah, let's just watch that happen. Hold on to your butts. I like that it looks like lightning inside. I think that's super cool. My one complaint is I wish you could have the light feature work without him talking because me personally, I don't really care for Ray Arnold. I don't know what the big deal about this guy is. But A, it's a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, and the diorama looks really nice, so I was gonna get it for the sake of the diorama, which is why I'm not unboxing it, because it looks nice like this. But apparently he's a big deal, and people really like him. But I think it'd be cool just to have the lightning effect and the lights, you know, without him talking. But yeah, you can press this again. Right, rabbit object. Whatever it did, it did it all. But with the key checks off, the computer didn't file the keystroke, so the only way to find it now is to go through the computer's lines of code one by one. In my opinion, that one was very obnoxiously long. Hold on to your butts. No, 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 that's crazy. You're out of your mind. He's absolutely out of his mind. Three minutes, I can have power back on the entire park. Theoretically, yes, but we've never shut down the entire system before. It may not come back on at all. I like the shadow that this light produces where the raptor, you can see it in the back. Hold on to 
under your butt. Okay, I think that's all the things he says. I don't think it's in a perfect loop. The raptor sounds cool, and I like how the flashing lights work with the sound. I think some of his phrases, by some of them, I mean like two of them are way too long. It's kind of obnoxious. The short ones are okay. I do like this little panel that it comes with. I think just normal releases should come with just these random panels because if we can't get play sets, at least we can get some scenery type stuff like this. Like this does not cost that much, I feel like, to just make a simple panel. You don't even have to make it light up or make any sounds. And it would be very nice. What's interesting is, is as long as this button is held in, it won't make any noise. And that's because when the magnet is put on the top, it won't make any noise. But then the second the button is released, it makes the noise. Three minutes, I can have power back on the entire park. <sighs> yeah. I'm trying to see what these things say. There's that. And here's him in better lighting. And then here is the inner side. It's also done as well, which is nice. Oh, and then this side's done too. Well, that's all I really have to say about this. I suppose I can bring Dennis Nedry in as a comparison since he was last year's exclusive. Definitely the Dennis Nedry Barbasol can takes up a lot less space. And also this one's easier to take in and out of the package if you want it displayed in the package or if you want to just take the figure out. Well, this is kind of actually a box. So once you cut these strings, you can still put them in, but it might not stay as well. So this is kind of like, do you want it in the box or do you not? This is kind of, you have the choice. I think it's another good exclusive. I don't think it costed too much. I want to say it was maybe the same price as Dennis, which was around $30 or something, which you're paying for the really nice artwork as well. Like the very extra packaging. And I think it was $30 with the shipping. So not bad at all for the US at least. The US shipping was not too bad. And with Mattel Creations, I just wanna applaud Mattel Creations because it's never been easier to buy exclusive stuff. And not saying it isn't a hassle. You still have to be there like the second it opens because things do still sell out in minutes. But they have the system where you can go into a waiting room and then the waiting room, you're in there for a bit and then you can go purchase your items. I had once where something sold out on me, but for the main part, 90% of the time, I'm able to get what I want as long as you're there the second it opens, which is kind of annoying, but it is definitely better than times they've tried to sell things on Big Bad Toy Store or whatever that other website was. Whatever I bought Dennis Nedry on, I think was an absolute hassle. I forgot what website that was. I think that's all I have to say, so I won't make this too long. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I don't know if anyone else likes these random instruction manual inserts, but I do, because I think they're also fun to have. So here is a look at the contents and the instructions on how things work. As you can see, his arm comes off, very delightful. And it shows how to take it out, which I don't plan on taking it out actually. I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And here is the tons and tons and tons of different languages saying that this product is safe and stuff like that. <laughs>